Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Kim. Uh, we're in the Jefferson Park neighborhood. So when we moved in here, this was, I'd say, probably similar to a lot of old, um, unfinished Chicago bungalow basements. Had clearly primarily just been used for storage for a number of years. Lots of layers of, of dirt and dust and cobwebs and grime everywhere. It was a little bit tough to envision. Uh, it is some place that you would want your kids to run around and play or, you know, even to come down here and do laundry was a little, a little dicey <laughs> at first, I'd say. <laughs> The idea was um, that we wanted to turn it into something that was a little bit more practical and usable for a young family on the budget that we were, were working with. The walls uh, had several layers of chipped paint on them. Uh, we initially did try to wire brush all of the paint off. Um, it was taking forever and we realized that there was just too many layers of paint and there was likely lead um, in the paint um, and so we just figured that um, the best option would just be to apply a fresh coat of paint on them. It's something that we know can cause effervescence um, over time and we'll definitely monitor that um, and make sure that we have no water issues in our brick and that they can breathe. We're really happy with, with the application of the flooring. The best option that we found was the epoxy solution. So these floors will be great uh, if the basement ever floods. Um, it's definitely durable for dogs and a toddler um, and gym weights and everything else. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing to have, you know, this much extra usable space to the, the house, particularly over the, the pandemic where we're, we're home a lot more. Our, our kid loves coming down here and running around and playing on the, the climbing gym and using the, the climbing lawn. It's nice too just to kind of have a, a change of scenery sometimes to come down here and watch movies or just have a little, little bit of something different.